Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar. I'm Jamie Boudreau. Here at the Small Screen Network, summer is rapidly approaching. And for me, summer means sangria and pitchers. So we're going to do a pitcher of sangria. Now there's going to be a twist with our sangria. We are going to be doing it with white wine and not red wine. Me, I like having a nice clear sangria that allows you to see all the wonderful fruits and, 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 and citrus that you put in. It makes it more visually appealing and it makes less of a mess when you, you know, have a few too many and start spilling red wine all over yourself. So, start off with a pitcher, fill it with ice and grab a nice, reasonably priced, not too cheap, white wine. You want something that isn't sweet, something that has some acidity, some dryness to it. You'll notice that the one that we chose today has a little bit of frizzante to it, a little bit of bubbles that adds a nice little texture, helps also pull out some of those fruit flavors that you're gonna be throwing in. So we'll add about a half bottle of, of this wonderful white wine. And then we'll start adding some, some citrus. This is going to help cut down some of the sweetness of the liqueurs that we're gonna be adding later on. So some lemon and lime. And then you're gonna to wanna to add some seasonal fruit. Now it doesn't really matter what it is as long as you enjoy the fruit. Uh, kiwis, strawberries, in this case, because it's what's available right now. A little bit of raspberry, a little bit of blackberry, blueberry, you name it. Ugly fruit, passion fruit, mango, peaches. Throw it in there. Whatever floats your boat and makes you a little bit happy. So now we have some wine, we have some fruit. For me, I need to fortify this a little bit. So we're gonna add gin. Gin's gonna up the alcohol content, make me feel a little bit better in the sun a little bit faster. We're gonna use Martin Miller's gin today. Uh, we're using this one because it is big on the citrus. And citrus and sangria go wonderful together. So we're gonna add one ounce of that. And then next, we wanna add a liqueur. Now, it doesn't really matter what liqueur that you add, as long as you know you enjoy that flavor. And for the white sangria, as long as you know that it is, for the most part, see-through or colorless. Uh, you can use a peach liqueur, an apricot. Uh, in this case, we're using Saint Germain. Two ounces of that. Get added right in there. You notice that we did the liqueur last. The liqueur is heavier than the gin, it's heavier than the white wine, so it's gonna help your mixing abilities by slowly sinking to the bottom, which means you'll have to stir a little bit less. To incorporate everything, we're gonna add a little bit more ice because, you know, this is meant to be consumed on a patio. And we're gonna to top it off with a little bit more wine. This is perfect when you have guests coming over that you didn't realize they were coming over. They just sort of stop by to say hello. You can make it on the fly. Give that a nice little stir. And all you need to do is find a nice little goblet, um, a Collins glass, any sort of glass whatsoever. Put in a couple ice cubes, because it is summertime, you want to have your drinks nice and cool. Add some more of that seasonal fruit. Adds a punch of color. Gives you something good to munch on. So that way you can actually sit, say you had a meal with your sangria. <laughs> a little citrus in there. Add a straw if you have it. Don't, it doesn't matter. You're good to go. It's summertime. The deck awaits. Away we go. Gin, white wine, a liqueur, fresh fruit. Summer in a glass. I'm taking this with me.